At $39,000, the Tesla Cybertruck would have been considered as one of the cheapest trucks in the market, electric or not. But that may not be so in the future as we mentioned in a previous video. But what was Tesla and Elon thinking at the time? How did they plan to do it? Make a very compelling electric truck for so low a price? Let's try and find out. Hi, welcome to Everything Cybertruck, where you'll be getting all the latest updates on the announced Tesla Cybertruck. If you enjoy this video, let us know in the comments section below and why not support us by hitting that like and subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell icon as well so you'll be the first to know each time we release a new video. It's free. For this to make sense, we're going to have to try and forget about the latest headlines we've been seeing about Tesla possibly increasing the price of the Cybertruck base model, and consider that it's still at $39,900. Because we don't actually know what the exact price for the base model is right now. But what we knew is that the Cybertruck was gonna be sold at the same or even cheaper price, compared to the Model 3. Which had seen some price increase. This will also be sort of a comparison between the Cybertruck and the most popular vehicle in the US, the Ford F-150. This price was surprisingly low. It was even lower than most traditional internal combustion engine trucks, like the Ford F-150, which I think surprised a lot of people. But is it actually cheap? Electric cars will usually be more expensive than internal combustion engine cars because batteries are really expensive to make. That is the bulk of the cost of EVs. However, in the long run, an EV will often be cheaper because electricity is significantly cheaper than gasoline and E-verses require much less maintenance. Here is the crazy thing about the Cybertruck. It does not merely have a lower total cost of ownership, the sticker price in the store is also lower than the typical price for a fossil fuel-powered truck. How did they pull that off? Before answering that question, I have to address some popular claims that the Cybertruck isn't cheap at all. Although it is true that the cheapest Ford F-150, which Tesla is trying to compare themselves to, has a lower starting price. However, that is somewhat deceptive. The cheapest Ford F-150 starts at around $29,000, hence seemingly $10,000 cheaper, but this truck can only fit two to three passengers. The length of the bed behind the truck is also just 5.5 feet. The Cybertruck, by contrast, comes with a bed, the vault, that is 6.5 feet long and can fit six people comfortably. People who have taken a ride in the Cybertruck remark on how spacious it is inside. A lot of that is due to the use of a unibody exoskeleton, rather than a body-on-frame design used by Ford, which was an important innovation needed for the Cybertruck to exist. Cybertruck's unibody exoskeleton by getting rid of the body-on-frame design they offer more space for passengers, batteries, and cargo. To actually compare, you need to adjust the basic configuration for the $29,000 Ford so it has the same size bed and can fit six passengers. Once you do that the F-150 ends up costing approximately $36,300 give or take. At this point, the Tesla Cybertruck comes standard with autopilot, built-in air compressor, 110 to 220 volts outlet for electrical equipment, adjustable air suspension, and built-in cover for the vault which can automatically slide up and down. And finally, we have the built-in ramp. Add all these things and you quickly blow past the Cybertruck starting price. So we can agree that this truck, if Tesla delivers with that price, is an amazing value proposition. That brings us to the original question. Tesla's trick is to simply avoid doing a lot of the things that add costs in a traditional factory. Number 1. Tesla's 8,000-ton Giga Press. A stamping die, used to buy stamping machines to press sheet metal into different shapes. In an automotive plant, the stamping press, called a Tesla Giga Press, is the most expensive equipment. It takes massive amounts of force to take a flat piece of metal and form it into a door, fender, etc. 8,000 tons to be exact. The tooling is expensive because multiple stamping dies must be created for each of several stages for stamping each part. How a metal sheet is turned into a part through a multi-stage process of being pressed by different stamping dies. 
The Cybertruck avoids this cost because it uses flat steel sheets all over. That is not merely to avoid costs but also because the 30 times cold rolled stainless steel Tesla uses is so hard, that a normal stamping press would break if applied to these steel plates. However, you can bend these steel plates in different ways. One innovative way is to use a laser cutter, do a partial cut, bend, and then weld the joint afterward to make it strong. This means cheaper and simpler manufacturing than using stamping machines, which requires a multi-stage process with enormous machines needing massive power to drive them. Number 2. Another expensive part of car making is painting. The Cybertruck avoids painting. Cars typically need paint because their mild steel exterior would otherwise rust to pieces. However stainless steel does not rust, and it is hard to paint in any case. Tesla simply embraced the disadvantages of stainless steel, such as it being hard to shape and paint, to create real advantages such as a strong rust-resistant car body that is cheap to manufacture. Stainless steel may not be the cheapest metal but it is still considerably cheaper than aluminum. And if you can't stand the bare steel look, you can still go ahead to wrap your vehicle with a vinyl wrap, but that cost is on you, not Tesla anymore. Number 3. Cyber Trucks Paper Interior. Did you notice the marble looking dashboard? Well, it isn't made of actual marble, but a paper composite. Tesla is good at using its design aesthetic to its advantage. Usually, a unique look costs you more money, but the simple clean interior of a Tesla is much cheaper to make. The dashboard that looks like marble is in fact made from a paper composite. We'll probably make a video on that soon. Tell us in the comment section below if you'd like to see that. These materials are then combined and baked at extremely high temperatures to create a durable and dense material that is water resistant, environmentally sustainable, and very cost effective. This is much cheaper than leather and other expensive materials usually used in cars. Number 4. The infotainment screen. Sticking to a single large screen also dramatically reduces complexity and cost. We think of touch screens as fancy, but they are not that expensive to make either. A dashboard full of dials, knobs, and instruments would be far more expensive. And finally, number 5. How much does tooling actually cost? An interesting video from automotive engineer Sandy Monroe, a well-known advisor to manufacturing companies, did a breakdown of the tooling cost of a Cybertruck compared to a Ford F-150, in a series on his YouTube channel, Monroe Live. To recap what Monroe said, he concluded that at production volumes of about 50,000 Cybertrucks per year, the tooling cost would be $30 million. To produce the same number of F-150 style trucks in contrast would require $210 million in tooling. So this is the cost of the machines needed inside the factory to get out 50,000 trucks per year. So why the huge difference? As I mentioned, the painting is a huge part of the cost. It will cost $150 million alone, according to Monroe. So we see that Tesla has basically used a clever design to make a truck with a unique look, which is cheap to make, and that has superior performance and attributes. That is what good design is all about. We'll like to know your thoughts on this, leave them down in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and again, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more awesome content like this one coming in the future. See you later.